Ever feel overwhelmed by life's challenges like you're constantly battling against a tide of deadlines, responsibilities and unexpected obstacles? In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to feel swept away by the current. But what if I told you there was a way to navigate these turbulent waters with resilience and grace? A philosophy thousands of years old that offers a framework for not just surviving, but thriving amidst the chaos. In this video, we'll explore four vital stoic strategies that can equip you to conquer adversity and live a more fulfilling life. These aren't just abstract concepts, they are practical tools tested by time and embraced by emperors and everyday individuals alike. Are you ready to discover the power of stoicism in your own life? Let's dive into a case study that illustrates the transformative power of stoicism in action. Imagine this, you're walking a tightrope high above the ground. The wind whips around you, threatening to throw you off balance. What's going through your mind? Fear? Doubt? Now imagine you've already mentally prepared for this very scenario. You've visualized the wind, the swaying rope, even the possibility of falling. This is the power of negative visualization, a stoic practice that encourages us to confront our fears head on. Instead of shying away from potential setbacks, we imagine them in vivid detail. We ask ourselves, what's the worst that could happen? How would I handle it? By mentally rehearsing for adversity, we build resilience. We realize that even if the worst were to occur, we possess the strength and resourcefulness to navigate it. This practice isn't about dwelling on negativity, it's about developing mental fortitude. Think of it like this. A soldier doesn't wait until they're in the heat of battle to consider their options. They train rigorously, simulating combat scenarios. So when the time comes, they're prepared. Similarly, negative visualization is our mental training ground. It allows us to face potential challenges with a calm, measured response rather than being caught off guard. When we embrace negative visualization, we disarm our fears. We acknowledge their presence but refuse to let them paralyze us. We understand that life is full of unexpected twists and turns, but we also recognize our own capacity to adapt and overcome. This practice isn't about expecting the worst. It's about preparing for any eventuality. It's about cultivating a mindset of resilience, knowing that whatever life throws our way, we have the inner strength to handle it. So how do we incorporate negative visualization into our daily lives? Start by reflecting on areas where you feel anxious or uncertain. Maybe it's an upcoming presentation, a difficult conversation, or a financial worry. Once you've identified a potential challenge, take some time to visualize it in detail. Imagine the worst case scenario unfolding. But here's the crucial part, don't stop there. Now visualize yourself navigating that challenge with strength and composure. See yourself overcoming obstacles, finding solutions, and emerging from the situation stronger than before. By repeatedly engaging in this mental exercise, you'll develop a sense of agency and preparedness. You'll start to see challenges not as insurmountable roadblocks, but as opportunities for growth and resilience. Remember, the goal of negative visualization isn't to make you fearful, but to empower you. It's about facing the unknown with courage and clarity, knowing that you have the inner resources to handle whatever comes your way. How often do you find your mind racing with thoughts of the past or anxieties about the future? We dwell on past regrets, replaying conversations or events in our minds, wishing we had acted differently. Or we project ourselves into the future, consumed by worries and what-ifs. But the Stoics remind us that the only true power we possess lies in the present moment. The past is gone, the future uncertain. The only thing we can control is our actions and choices in the here and now. It's about recognizing that our power lies in focusing our energy where it matters most, on the present. When we fixate on the future, we surrender our peace of mind to anxieties and uncertainties. The Stoics teach us to approach life with a sense of presence, fully engaging with each experience as it unfolds. This means savoring the simple pleasures of life, a warm cup of coffee, a conversation with a loved one, the beauty of nature. It also means approaching our work and responsibilities with focus and intention, giving each task our full attention. Living in the present moment isn't about denying the reality of past or future. It's about choosing to focus our energy on what we can control, our thoughts, actions and responses in the here and now. When we cultivate a practice of presence, we begin to experience a sense of peace and clarity. 
We're no longer weighed down by the burdens of the past or the anxieties of the future. Instead, we're free to engage fully with life, appreciating the beauty of each moment and embracing the opportunities that present themselves. One powerful practice is mindfulness. Throughout the day, take a few moments to pause and simply observe your surroundings. When you find your mind wandering, gently guide it back to the present moment. Another helpful practice is gratitude. Take some time each day to reflect on the things you're grateful for, no matter how small. Living in the present moment is a continuous practice, not a destination. The key is to gently guide ourselves back to the present, moment by moment, breath by breath. As we cultivate a practice of presence, we'll begin to experience the freedom and peace that come from living in the only moment that truly matters now. Life is a tapestry woven with threads of joy and sorrow, triumph and adversity. We celebrate the highs, but often struggle to accept the lows. We rail against setbacks, lamenting the unfairness of it all. But the Stoics offer a radical perspective, amor fati, or love of fate. This doesn't mean passively accepting everything that happens to us, but rather embracing it all, the good, the bad and the ugly. As part of the grand tapestry of life, Amor Fati is the understanding that everything that happens, every experience we encounter, serves a purpose in our growth and development. It's about recognizing that even amidst challenges and setbacks, there are lessons to be learned and opportunities for growth. When we resist what is, when we fight against the natural flow of life, we create unnecessary suffering. We expend our energy on lamenting what we cannot change instead of focusing on what we can control our responses and our perspective. Amor Fati invites us to shift our perspective. Instead of viewing challenges as roadblocks, we can choose to see them as opportunities for growth and learning. We can ask ourselves, what can I learn from this situation? How can I use this experience to become stronger and wiser? This doesn't mean we have to pretend that difficult experiences are easy or enjoyable. It's okay to acknowledge the pain, the frustration, the grief, but Amor Fati encourages us to look beyond the surface, to search for the deeper meaning and potential for growth that lie within every experience. When we embrace Amor Fati, we cultivate a mindset of resilience and acceptance. We develop the capacity to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and equanimity. We understand that challenges are not meant to break us, but to shape us into stronger, more compassionate individuals. So how do we cultivate this radical acceptance in our own lives. It starts with a conscious shift in perspective. The next time you encounter a challenge, instead of immediately resisting or lamenting, take a moment to pause and reflect. Ask yourself, what if I chose to embrace this situation, even if it's difficult? What if I looked for the lessons and opportunities hidden within this challenge? Remember, Amor Fati isn't about being passive or resigning yourself to a life of suffering. It's about recognizing that even amidst adversity, there is always something to be learned, something to be gained. It's about approaching life's challenges with a spirit of curiosity and a willingness to grow, knowing that even in the darkest of times, there is always the potential for transformation and renewal. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, it's easy to get swept away by the current of our to-do lists and obligations. We move from one task to the next, rarely pausing to reflect on our experiences or examine our thoughts and emotions. But the Stoics understood the importance of self-reflection as a tool for growth and self-improvement. They believed that by taking the time to examine our thoughts, actions and values, we gain clarity, make wiser choices and live more intentional lives. Journaling is a powerful practice that allows us to engage in this process of self-reflection. It provides a space for us to process our experiences, explore our thoughts and feelings, and gain insights into our own patterns and behaviors. Think of your journal as a private sanctuary, a place where you can be completely honest with yourself without judgment or censorship. It's a space to pour out your thoughts and feelings, to grapple with difficult emotions, and to celebrate your successes and insights. The act of writing itself can be incredibly therapeutic, when we put our thoughts and feelings into words, we bring them out of the shadows of our minds and into the light of awareness. This allows us to examine them more objectively, to identify patterns and to challenge limiting beliefs. Journaling isn't just about venting or complaining, it's about actively engaging in a dialogue with yourself. It's about asking yourself tough questions. What am I grateful for? What challenges am I facing? What lessons have I learned? 
By regularly examining our thoughts, actions and values, we gain a deeper understanding of ourselves. We become more aware of our strengths and weaknesses, our triggers and our patterns. This self-awareness is essential for growth and transformation. When we understand ourselves better, we're better equipped to make choices that align with our values and to create a life that is both meaningful and fulfilling. So, how do we incorporate journaling into our daily lives? There's no right or wrong way to journal. The most important thing is to find a method that works for you. Some people prefer to journal first thing in the morning, using it as a way to set their intentions for the day. Others find it helpful to journal in the evening, reflecting on their experiences and processing their emotions. You can write about anything that comes to mind from your to-do list to your deepest fears and aspirations. The key is to be honest with yourself and to approach the process with a spirit of curiosity and self-compassion. Remember, your journal is a judgment-free zone. It's a space to explore your inner world without fear or censorship. So, give yourself permission to be vulnerable to make mistakes and to celebrate your growth along the way. The more you journal, the more you'll begin to reap the benefits of this powerful practice. You'll gain clarity, cultivate self-awareness and develop a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you. The wisdom of the Stoics is as relevant today as it was thousands of years ago. Their teachings offer us a framework for navigating the challenges of modern life with resilience, grace and purpose. By incorporating these four vital Stoic strategies into our lives, negative visualization, living in the present moment, amor fati, and journaling, we empower ourselves to conquer adversity and live more fulfilling lives. Ready to conquer adversity with ancient wisdom? Start by applying these Stoic strategies today. Share your experiences or questions in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more insights on living a balanced, intentional life. Together, let's thrive in modern life using timeless wisdom.